had a different video planned for today, but I'm going to go off script and I'm going to speak from the heart and I'm going to see where this goes. I'm sure we all are familiar with the concept of a team, but how often, or let me ask you, what was the last time that you felt betrayed? Uh, and that's a deep question. It's a serious question. You know, when you're in the confines of a team, you want to be able to trust each other. You want to be a part of something bigger than yourself, right? But sometimes the ties between you and your teammates, or even you and your coach, um, can hurt if those, if those ties are cut. Um, and it can cut deeper, and it's more on an emotional level, rather than just being about getting a win. And that's one of the biggest things that, in college football or any sport, can make a season go downhill the quickest, is if a locker room goes bad. If there's trust uh, that's lost between either teammates or, as I said, players and a coach. And specifically in college football, you know, a lot of players, uh, any player, all players, whether they're smart, whether they're athletic, uh, or whether they're, you know, just lucky to be a part of the team, every player, no matter what their status is, how long they've played, they can see how authentic or genuine their coach is. Um, and if their coach is a fraud, players see right through it. There's no um, fooling a player. There's not. Because they can see how genuine a coach or an assistant coach or one of their teammates, whether it be a leader such as a quarterback or anybody else at a skill position, they follow the leader, right? The leader has to set the tone. And if that leader falls short or if they're not authentic or if they don't care or if they're not qualified to be in that position, the players see through it. And if the players see through it, the locker room falls, the bottom just comes out. And what else can you do? You can't save the season um, because you've lost the trust to your players. It's so, so important. And it's something that we either don't think about a lot or don't realize exactly how important it is. We all, as human beings, want to feel valued. We want to feel cared about. We want to be taught. We want to learn something. Um, and the reverse of what uh, I just played out is true as well. If you have a coach who knows what he's talking about, um, he's very knowledgeable, intellectual, um, and if he cares about the players, then he will get the most out of those players that he can and that the players can offer because they want to play for him. They want to do their best, and you don't really have to ask um, verbally because they see the love that a coach can give them. Um, and if a player does that to a coach, then it's easy for the coach to coach that player. You know, sports provide something that we all want, and we want to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. We want to be a part of a community and feel welcomed and feel like um, that you're more than just an individual and that you have a purpose and that we can collectively come together and do something great. That can be on a team and that can be as a fan. And of course, I'm just a fan with a camera and you're just a fan probably just watching this video. Um, but we can be a part of something bigger than ourselves. And, you know, if you, if you ever feel betrayed or when I ever feel betrayed, maybe that's not the family that we need to try to pursue. Um, and I mentioned that word family, and it reminds me of something I heard one time on a video of P.J. Fleck and what he uses in his program at the University of Minnesota. Um, they talk about family, and he describes family, and he uh, defines family as an acronym. Forget about me, I love you. And that's powerful. Just just forget about me. It's not about me. It's about you because I love you. And that's what family is and that's what a team needs to strive to be. Um, and we can all be leaders. And something that I believe is that the best leaders start out as the best followers because they know who to follow. They know when to follow. They know how to follow. And if you can do that, then people will trust you. 
And when you gain that trust over experience and over time, then you become a leader and they begin to look at you, whether you're a player or whether you're a coach. It just happens progressively. And that kind of love um, of creating a family and creating a good atmosphere is so, so valuable. And it applies a lot more uh, to life than just football. Um, I think that's something worth sharing, and this is kind of off the cuff, but it's important because we don't want to feel devalued or disrespected as a human being. You know, we, we need to make others feel good. We need to make others feel valued and feel like they're worth something and help them with something that's worthwhile that they can do uh, and encourage one another. A lot of times we forget how our words and actions can affect people. Uh, that goes for all of us. You know, there's a lot of value in just looking somebody in the eye, seeing a genuine smile, shaking their hand, giving them a hug. Um, and it's something that we need internally uh, as humans. And that's something that being a part of a team, a tight-knit group, can provide. Um, we all need that sense of community, and a lot of people can find it in sports. I encourage you to look for places that you can find it out, outside of sports, as well um, because it's so valuable to be a part of a group, uh, multiple groups um, that are truly valuable, care about you, and are healthy to be a part of. You know, and, and sometimes the best teams aren't the most athletic, they're not the most talented, they're not the most skilled, but they are a group of people that know how to work together, work together well, um, and make each other better. And sometimes that can beat the more athletic, the more talented, the more skillful teams and players um, that don't work together and are not cohesive as a unit. Um, and it starts with the coach, it starts with the uh, leader in the locker room uh, of the players as well. Um, it starts there and it spreads. Uh, negativity and positivity both spread like wildfire. And it's so crucial to the aspect of a team and you know a lot of times little things can add up we we can sometimes get confused about uh, what's important and what's not and hopefully you know as we all grow and continue to get older that we can uh, utilize and know the things that are worth fighting for and we can fight for them and know what's right and know how to help other people um, and if we do that, then that's somebody that's worth being a good teammate. That's somebody that's worth being a good leader. Um, and we can all learn from mistakes. You know, learning never stops. And being a part of a team, being, being with somebody, that value never goes away. We all look forward to when sports can resume. And, and some of them are beginning to come back uh, very recently or very soon um, and I'm thankful for the people in my life that add value uh, to me and I hope that I can add value to them too the people that make me feel a part of a community the communities that I am involved in and I am thankful for those that have helped shape me and helped helped me grow um, as we all strive to do that in this thing with that we call life um, I know this has been random um, I thank you for watching this video if you have. Uh, I know I've kind of bounced all over the place, but, you know, I, I appreciate you watching, um, especially if you're a new subscriber. And, of course, yes, uh, can't wait to talk more football next week. Come back, um, and we'll be talking football. Um, you know, but sometimes, sometimes things are bigger than football, and uh, those things are worth fighting for. That's all I got. Uh, Till next time. Be good now.